Are you still using stabilizers for your appliances? How many stabilizers are you going to use for all of your devices? What if you have one solution for the whole house? Well, that's exactly what this video is going to tell you about. This is the Eurocontrol's whole house voltage protector. Let's have a look at how it works. Welcome back to Artec. If you guys haven't subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. A few years back, it was difficult to get devices like this, but uh, now it's much more easier. You can just get this on Amazon. I'll leave links in the description below. This is an adjustable version of the device. You do get a non-adjustable version as well. So um, this is a 63A model EVP series and it's got a display as well. So it does let you know what's the voltage uh, reading as well. So this device essentially does uh, two important things. One is low voltage cutoff and a high voltage cutoff. And these are adjustable readings. So you can decide what voltage you want your devices to, be, to get cut off. So there is a user manual inside. Uh, it's a paper manual. It's given you all the instructions inside as to what this device can do, how you can adjust it, and uh, how much power this device consumes itself. And it's as small as your regular uh, two-pole MCB. So that's the space it takes. It can fit on a rail as well. And it comes in a variety of voltages. So this is the 63 amp version. So here are the dimensions of this device. So you can fix it into your electrical supply box. Now getting the device out, there's nothing else in the box. It's a very simple device. And that's the back part of the device. So it's easily fixable on a rail. So the front of the device, you have the logo there, Euro controls, it says. This is a device made in Taiwan. It's a consumer friendly design. You have this nice Nixie tube display on the front, which also doubles up as a voltage indicator. It's pretty accurate. You have a set button and an adjusting button, uh, both covered in plastic. You have two LEDs on the right, which show you over volt and below volt indications. So these are the power input connectors. You have neutral and line. And at the bottom, you have a line out for both of them. So overall, this is such a small device. I mean, if you compare this with some of the stabilizers, I know stabilizers do a little more than just cut off low voltage and high voltage. But if you have this device, it's kind of going to do everything else which a normal stabilizer can't do for some of your smaller devices. I mean, not everyone puts the charger on a stabilizer, right? So this kind of takes care of uh, some of the bigger problems. Anyway, I powered this thing on uh, using a small wire just to show you a quick demo. And the display comes up. Just trying to get some focus on this. So yeah, so 243 volts. You have both the indicators on the right glowing, telling you that everything is working fine. There's no cutoff. Let me know what you guys think about the display. So yeah, let's get this thing tested. So if you're working with electricity, just be a little careful and uh, just make sure that you're wearing adequate protection. All right, so let's get uh, going. I'll just show you a quick demo of this device. So there's a set button here, very few controls actually. So if you hold the set button for three seconds, it should start giving you uh, the menu options. So let me press it for three seconds. Okay, I think I need to press it a little more harder. Yep, so the first three seconds will show you the high voltage protection. So by default, it uh, cuts off at 280. You can reduce this number or increase it. So uh, let's set it at about say 255. Yeah, so we'll set it at say 255. Okay, so let's say it does cut off at 255. The next menu tells us at what voltage the power should be resumed. The recovery voltage is also adjustable from 220 to 300 volts. Actuation time, which means uh, the reaction time is about 0.1 seconds. The low voltage protection is set by default at 160. Let's change this number. Now remember, the high voltage cutoff is adjustable from 221 volts up to 300. And the low voltage uh, protection is adjustable from 219 right below to 150 volts. So you can set it anywhere between this range. 
So low voltage will be set at about say 175 volts. I think your devices will be pretty much okay even 175. Low voltage restoration will happen at 180 volts by default. Actuation time which means 0.1 second response time. It can be adjusted up to 10 seconds if you want to. So let's say there is a cutoff. So you have a default time gap of reboot which is about 60 seconds so once uh, the voltage is restored it will take about 60 seconds to power back all your devices on this is adjustable up to 512 seconds so default power on time is two seconds so the moment power comes into this device it takes two seconds AU uh, represents fully automatic that means the device is set to turn on and turn off things automatically another incredible thing that this device does in the last menu is tell you the last five instances of high voltage or low voltage cutoff. So it's got a display here which uh, right now shows one UL which means the last time there was an under volt voltage uh, cutoff and uh, this will change to UH in case there was a high voltage cutoff. So very intelligent device, it can show you a log of the last five cutoffs. Now to save the settings you need to um, press the button because right now if you see, if I go back to this menu, it's not saved any of the settings because I didn't confirm the settings. So let me just show you uh, what's gonna happen. I'm gonna turn this thing on again. And if I click on the set button for three seconds, it should ideally show me 255 for the high voltage cutoff, but it will not because I didn't save the settings. So unfortunately, I have to do the whole thing again. So let me quickly do this. So uh, voltage, high voltage, low voltage. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to run this quickly. Okay, we're getting close to the end of the menu. This is where you got to be a little careful. So once you reach uh, the automatic mode and the last five cut off reasons you get the end button and that's when you press the settings button to save the settings so once you do that the settings are saved so now even if i switch this thing off and put it on and then i want to see what's the cutoff voltage you'll see that pressing the set button will bring you 255 so the settings are saved so this is good if you want to reset the device you just have to press these two buttons together and that will reset the device i'm cool so this device is actually a boon one small thing to protect your entire range of devices at home. It's not full protection, but it does 70 to 80% of what a stabilizer would do to all of your devices. So I think it's good to have. So let's get this mounted onto a rail and connect it to the mains. Let's see if it actually works. Uh, there's no way to actually test it, honestly, because I can't change the grid values. I don't have any specific devices to do that. I'm just gonna connect it and see if it works for the whole house, whether it takes the load. So yeah, this setup is actually three phase. I'm using one you know, line from the main, which goes inside the entire house. Next to this is another device. It's a timer device. If you wanna see the video, I have a link to that as well. Anyway, so this device is connect, uh, connected to a three phase line, which uh, is going to a changeover switch basically means I can select any one of the lines based on the voltage I'm getting in. So once I select one line that goes through this device, this Euro control device, and that filters the power for the entire house. As simple as that. So if it does what it does and at the given uh, price point, which is you know barely the cost of half a stabilizer, I think this is a great device to protect all your devices at home. Once again, I'm leaving all links in the description in case you're interested to buy this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was useful. Do hit the subscribe button, share this video with your friends. Highly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching Artec. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.